This is lesson 43 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson, manipulate arrays with pop. So another way to change the data in an array is with the pop function. Dot pop is used to pop a value off the end of an array. We can store this popped off value by assigning it to a variable. Any type of entry can be popped off of an array numbers, strings, even nested arrays. For example, the code, we have this array that contains 1, 4, and 6, then we call the pop function. The variable 1 down now holds the value 6, and the array becomes 1 and 4. Instructions use the dot pop function to remove the last item from my array, assigning the popped off value to removed from array. So if we come over here, we have an example, and the example is our array, and it holds 1, 2, and 3. Then we create removed from our array, and we assign to it that pop function. And what that does is it's going to take this last number in the array, it's going to store it in removed from our array, which will now hold a 3. As it says here, removed from our array now equals 3. And our array now equals 1, 2. So setup. We have my array, which contains two arrays inside of this array. And we're going to call the pop function. So we go to removed from my array and just say dot pop. So, this wouldn't work for one reason. I don't know if you guys caught it. You do have to put this like that. And we want to do it to the pop function to my array dot. So now this would work. And what it, this is doing is. It's going to my array, popping off the last value, which is the array with the string cat and the number value 2, and it's putting it inside of removed from my array. So now removed from my array contains this array with the string cat and 2. And that's how the pop function works. And my array would just hold the string John in 23 after we do this. So that should be it for this lesson.